Coming up next, Salesian News Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 76th episode of Salesian News Asia Pacific. I am your host RJ Bryan of Radio Salesian 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, furnishing church decor worldwide. Salesian Archbishop's Peace Book published in Assamese. Father P.D. Johnny reports from Guwahati, Assam. A group of academicians and social activists came together under the leadership of Salesian Archbishop Emeritus Thomas Menamparampil of Guwahati to promote peace at a conflict-ridden time. The occasion was the release of an Assamese language book entitled Handi Bisari, In Search of Peace, written by him. The original work in English language was translated into Assamese by an eminent civil society leader, Mr. Paresh Malakar. A reputed intellectual of Assam, Mr. Hiran Gohain, released the book at Gohati Press Club on 22nd October 2021. Salesians offering higher education to rural youth lauded. Father Satinathan, Administrator, Sacred Heart College, reports from Tirapatur in Tamil Nadu. Braving the challenges of the pandemic during the past academic year, 1,674 students successfully completed their studies. They were awarded graduate and postgraduate degree certificates during the 45th graduation day of Sagrada College, Tirupattur on 21st and 23rd October 2021. Chairman of Sedh Bhaskara Agricultural College and Research Foundation, Dr. Sedh Kumanan, and Editor-in-Chief of Sun News Television, Mr. Gunasegaran, were the chief guests. Speaking at the event, the chief guests appreciated the dedicated service of the Salesians and staff members for educating and empowering rural and poor youth from seven districts of Tamil Nadu state, namely Vilipuram, Tiruvannamalai, Tirupattur, Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri, Salem, and Bellur. Six books from Don Bosco College highlight Salesians standing by sidelined people. Father Bastian Nalisari reports from Kerala. The Don Bosco College in Manuti, Kerala has brought out a series of six books under We Care Project. Two books on flood disaster risk reduction. Insulate Kerala, hard lessons from flooded fury. And Beyond the Flood, lessons for insulating Kerala. One book on the pandemic, when the world dares the odd, life during pandemic. And three books on social inclusivity, the ousted, embracing the marginal, stigma, reflections on those left out at the existential peripheries, and the resilient, women's war on subjugation. For sanctuary design, statues, church doors and facades, contact Church Art Kolkata, serving bishops and religious congregations worldwide for over 40 years. Our speciality, life-size outdoor stations of the cross, 54 items lewd style and 12 apostles larger than life Vatican style. Our latest item, 20 mysteries of the rosary, 70 items Fatima style. For affordable church decor and hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Pass Pupil, churchart.ganguly at gmail.com and WhatsApp or Telegram, country code 91, mobile number 98310-20945. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada Darjeeling. <music> Students hold skating rally to promote social justice and environment protection. Father Francis Xavier reports from Tiruchi in Tamil Nadu. The Salesian presences of Trishi province, namely Don Bosco Skating Academy, Don Bosco School of Merit, 
and Bosco Mayam Palli Thambam organized a skating rally recently to create awareness on social justice and climate change. As many as 30 skating students and 20 Echo Club students joined the rally. The event began with an oath-taking ceremony promising to safeguard social justice and mitigate climate change. They also pledged to care for the earth, a home for all. Faith formation for men held on Mission Sunday. Father Robinson Parapilli reports from Tetere in Solomon Islands. Over a hundred fathers of Christ the King Solution Parish Tetere came together from 23rd to 24th October 2021 for a faith formation and a re-evangelization in rural Catholic community of Swagi. The theme was, we cannot but speak about what we have seen and heard. While a Catholic leader spoke on family life and importance of Christian family, a prominent Catholic lady spoke to mothers on the need to be a true companion and support to their husbands. The day concluded with the movie Fireproof and a meal on grilled fish and pork with singing and praising God till midnight. On the second day, youth of the parish joined the parish priest in celebrating Mission Sunday with enthusiasm. Some of the Anglican brothers also joined for the instructions on the creed as well as for testimony and sharing. The program was an initiative of the Catholic Papas to go to villages and build up ecclesial families and bring back the stray sheep to the fold. Teachers learn life lessons from river. Lucy Napitalai reports from Port Mosby in Papua New Guinea. After several rescheduling dates throughout the year due to the pandemic, the Don Bosco Technological Institute Baroko Staff Spiritual Retreat was held from the eve of 22nd October to the afternoon of 23rd October 2021 at the Emmaus Conference Center East Baroko. During the retreat, we watched a video entitled River Me, a 2006 production of Bosco Eastern Africa Multimedia Services. The short film is a narrative of the flow of rivers from its origin to its final destination. We had moments of reflection and discussion of the film. Just like the river, the retreat helped to realign my thoughts and actions in my journey through these uncertain times. I learned that as the river flows, along its way it may go through detours, stagnation, flood, dry spell or drought. On the other hand, the river is also joined by other streams flowing into it that enhances it. When it flows into the vast ocean, it is renewed and strengthened by the ocean's mighty waves and powerful tides. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. The show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, furnishing church decor worldwide. Enjoy the rest of your day.